Hey everybody, this is Josh with Treasured Spaces in my very nice Christmas holiday vest. Um, I'm your DIY ally and I'm doing the first of many videos today about how to fix a door that has a mind of its own. Like this door, you see they got a, they got a little floor stop here. Um, take that away and it closes on its own. So you have one of those doors that either opens on its own or closes on its own. There's a super, super easy fix to that. Um, the reason it happens is your door is, or your wall is most likely installed or your wall's leaning in or out and, the, and gravity makes that door open or close. So if you wanna fix that, you gotta do some work on your hinges and it's really easy though. So start by making sure your door is closed. Um, some doors have two hinges, some have three. Older doors usually have two, this door has two. So you're gonna wanna take the pin out of the hinge and I'm just gonna start with the top one, that's the easiest. Um, and these hinges you can see have a little, I think they're called a finial or a little ball on the top and bottom. You can't remove those from the bottom. You gotta start at the top. Uh, like a newer style hinge would have nothing at the bottom of the hinge and you can take a nail or a punch or anything and tap that up. But on this door, I'll have to use a chisel and, and wedge into the top and get that pin loose. And again, if you have your door closed, it's not gonna fall down on you when you get this pin out. So make sure you have it closed. This one's a little stubborn here. There we go. So, you got that out, and now I need a chunk of wood or something. So you're gonna take your pin, it's nice and straight, and you are going to go to a, a floor or something you don't care about. I got a little block of wood here, and you're gonna just hit this. And you're gonna give it a bend. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a bend now. And what that's gonna do, when you put it back in, it's gonna create enough resistance to stop that door from closing on its own. So I'm pounding the, pounding the pin back in, it's a little tight. I bent it pretty good, so. Um, sometimes you have to do both hinges or all three hinges. All right, so I got the hinge pin back in and now I have the door open. I'm gonna let go of the door and as you can see, it's moving just barely. It moved a half inch, but it stopped now. It's not gonna close on its own. I can, I can open this door halfway, let go of it. It's gonna stay all the way. It's gonna stay, I think. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we got to do the second one. So let's do that. So again, I'm going to I'm going to take the bottom hinge out or the pin, I'm sorry. Okay, I got the the pin. I'm setting it down on the floor, just laying it on its side. And I'm going to tap it with my hammer. And again, I'm going to make it bent. It might be hard to see, but it's got a bend in it. And tap it back in. All right, the pin is in. Let's try that. I'm opening the door, and there it is. Whew. It stays like it's supposed to. Yeah, now, now it's 100% good. I did both hinges, and it's gonna stay where I want it. It's not gonna close on me. It's not gonna be annoying. I don't need my door stop anymore. Although decorative, we could throw it there if you want. Uh, but yeah, door is fixed. So, you don't always or ever have perfect conditions in your old home. Your walls are a little crooked, your doors are crooked, nothing works quite right, but there's all kinds of secrets and tricks and tips to take care of that stuff. So again, I'm Josh, your DIY ally in my awesome Christmas vest, and I wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.